Conversion of rotational motion to reciprocation plays an important role in many applications. This is due to the fact that electric motors produce the rotational motion which is appropriate for a vast majority of applications. However, time to time certain applications require the reciprocation motion. For example, shapers, metal stamping presses, some pumps, and a host of similar applications require the reciprocation motion. The simplest reciprocation motion is obtained by a crank and slider mechanism. Another well-known reciprocation mechanism is the scotch yoke mechanism. While the scotch yoke or crank slider gives a uniform reciprocation motion, there are some applications which require a spe specific reciprocation motion. For example, the Whitworth quick return mechanism allows us to have a reciprocation motion in which a forward stroke takes longer than the backward stroke. In addition, the Whitworth quick return mechanism allows us to adjust the stroke length of the reciprocation motion. Some applications require that the reciprocation motion should dwell at one or both ends of the reciprocation motion. There is a modified version of the scotch yoke mechanism which dwells at both ends of the reciprocation motion without the use of gears. In this video we present a scotch yoke reciprocation mechanism which dwells at both ends of the rotation with the use of gears. As we can see in this animation, a large rotating green gear and a non-rotating blue gear are attached to the same gray shaft. A red gear which is attached to the green gear by a black pin is engaged with the blue gear. When the yellow gear forces the green gear to rotate, it also moves the black pin and in turn the red gear with it. If the red gear was not engaged with the blue pin, the red gear would not have the rotation motion. However, the combined effect of the motion of the black pin and the engagement of the red and blue pins forces the red gear to rotate. The number of teeth on the red gear is half the number of teeth on the blue gear. The white pin attached eccentrically on the red gear forces the slider to slide under the yellow plate and this is what causes the scotch yoke mechanism to reciprocate. Since the teeth number on the red gear is half the teeth, teeth number on the blue gear, this allows the white pin to follow an oval path as shown in this video. Note that a small hump at both extremes of the horizontal axis allows the shaft to make a small reciprocation motion superimposed on the larger one, which may be useful for some applications. Stay tuned for our next video in which we will discuss another scotch yoke mechanism without this perturbation.